Hey guys, Max Katz here with AppPre.io. In this video, I want to show you how to build a simple app that uses HTML5 local storage, and then we'll publish the app. We'll give it a custom uh, URL, and we'll try to do this all under five minutes. So I already created a brand new app, um, but let's quickly build the UI, and uh, we'll call this local storage. We'll get an input component, and we'll get a button component. So this will be the name. So we'll sort of build kind of a hello world using local storage name. And then we'll say, say hello. All right, that's for the first page. Let's create a second page. And right here, we'll just say hello and drag and drop a label component. This will be the name that we entered on the previous page. So we entered the name, save it into local storage and then show it here. Okay, that's for the UI. Now let's define a local storage variable and that's done in model and storage and storage. And we'll call this person name. All right, so this creates a local storage variable. You can see right here and it's of type string. Now let's go back to the first page and I'm going to select the button and open events. And basically on the button click, I'm going to run mapping. And uh, this is the page. Now I need to activate storage because from the page I want to save it into local storage. And so this is the name and they map it into local storage. All right, so now the value is saved. Um, I also need to navigate, so I'm going to add another action. Let's navigate to page, hit screen two. All right. So again, we first save and then we navigate, that's the sequence uh, of events. Let's go back to the second page. Right here on page show, we'll change the event to page show. We're going to run mapping again and now I need to activate storage and expand. So person name, we're going to map it to the label, right? Very simple. And save. All right, and that's basically it. Let's now test the app. And we'll say max and say hello and right away, right? Very simple and also very fast. So we save into local storage, then read from the local storage. So that's the first part. But of course, now we would like to give this app a custom URL. Now we, we can, of course, remove the frame and we have this, this URL, but again, we would like to have an actual custom URL. So let's see how to do that. Um, to publish, we need to exit the app builder. And uh, right here it says hosting. So we can uh, right here enter uh, a URL. And for example, we can say HTML5 local storage, right? And click publish. All right, so this is going to take a minute uh, plus or minus. And when it's done, we will, uh, the app will be published to the uh, custom URL that I entered. All right, so once the publishing is done, you'll see a screen like this. Now you can scan this QR code if you have a QR reader app on your device. Uh, but we can also go back here and we'll see that uh, the app is now um, published and we can click this link. Right, and you can see now as its own URL, and if we enter a name, right, we can see the same, uh, the same result. All right, so go back here again. We used um, an app pre that I your domain, but you can also enter your own uh, custom domain if you own it, and publish it <clears throat> there uh, as well. So again, as you can see, uh, it's very simple and fast. Uh, first of all, to build an app that uses HTML5 uh, local storage, but also uh, publish the app basically instantly, and you know the app gets its own custom uh, custom URL. So again, definitely give this a try. Um, sign up for the starter plan, which is free. Again, you can build a one-page app and publish it instantly, and test it in the browser or your device. Thanks for watching.